Okay, the idea of this video is to show you how easy it is to cook in bulk. All right, right now all I'm going to do is empty some frozen chicken breasts into a crock pot and I'm going to come back like four hours later. I'm going to wash each individual chicken breast so I get the fat off. Um, basically, you can prep before or prep after. I choose to prep after because essentially I'll show you in the video, but all the fat will kind of uh, accumulate at the top. It's almost Okay, well, that's kind of disgusting, actually, what will cook out of low-fat chicken. I got frozen chicken breasts. I'm basically just going to rip the bag open and throw it in the pot. Another bag. Now, as you can see, Crock pot is full, about the biggest crock pot I could find. I think it think costs 40 bucks. It is literally the magic bowl. Well, as you can see, we've been cooking here for a minute. And I want to go ahead and show you what is accumulated at the top. That, my friends, is fat. Okay, I just got home. And right now, the chicken is officially done. I've gone about my day, did all the work that needed to be done, and I did not worry about my eating. My food preparation was taking place while I was at work and running around. See the fat? It's accumulated under there. I'm gonna take it and peel it off. I don't mind losing a little bit of that tendon, that weird piece of meat that's on the end of the different chicken breasts. That is one clean, boiled, double cooked piece of chicken. So it's pretty quick. I'm gonna speed it up for you. Pull the fat off. Another way to do this is to go ahead and scissor it. If you're buying something fresh and not frozen, I like to take scissors and just clip the fat off, throw it in. You're gonna see a little bit less fat that way. If you like getting all the fat off the chicken, if you don't like kind of just mashing it up, and um, some fat will still accumulate in the bowl. So in a sense, you end up doing it twice. This way is just as easy. So peel the fat off. The more water pressure always helps. Beautiful. Big bad boy chicken breast here. Now being real, when I'm lazy, I'm really not that worried about chicken fat. It's kind of gross now that I showed you. But sometimes I'll just take the spatula and empty out that water. The, you know, the kind of the water that accumulates that the chicken's floating in. And I'll start smashing it up. Add whatever seasoning I want, a little Mrs. Dash, a little barbecue sauce, teriyaki, whatever it's going to be. And then I've got shredded chicken. I can do the same thing with this now that I've got all the fat out. Because this chicken literally just pulls apart. You're always going to fight for a little tendon right there in some of these that uh, rubber piece of meat. It's another reason why I don't mind cleaning up my chicken. I never get a mystery bite. See that? Mystery. Gross. Fat is accumulated. there on the end, just got to pay attention. Fat's going to be in most of the same spots on the chicken breasts, around the outer edge, little funky piece of meat right there, can actually save that piece. Voila, beautiful. 
So for the record, all that fat we just boiled out of pre-cut trimmed chicken breasts. Now if you can see what's going on in my sink here, it's all fat. I'm going to do this even though I think it's disgusting. That is gross. So, and the other theory is that my good friend Michelle taught me is that uh, animals mostly store their toxins in their fat. So, what you're eating right there is not only chicken fat, but it's also toxins, whatever the, the chickens might have run into in the free ranges that they are supposedly in. So that kind of goes with all the different meats, um, and, and even in humans. You know, if you're, if you're looking to lose fat, your body will actually hold on to it, per some studies, um, to store toxins. So in theory, if you go ahead and try to become uh, as less toxic as possible or toxin-free, then in theory your body won't hold on to fat to store it. So, okay, enough about fat. That's the bowl we cooked in. Okay, it's one dish and a lid. That is my new pile of chicken. Beautiful. Now I can take that chicken, check this out. I can take that chicken and it just peels apart. I can shred it. You know what I mean? I can eat it as whole. It's still moist because I slow cooked it. But I can change the texture of, of the chicken, which is huge when you're trying to cook. You know, we get really sick of chicken, right? So I can eat it like this. I can shred it. I can barbecue it. I can put it, I can bake it. I can boil it, and that even changes it a little bit. So there's, once again, a bunch of different ways to do it. I personally like the crock pot because it's simple and easy, and I don't have to stand here and do anything. So essentially, I'll be cleaning two dishes and two lids. And that's pretty much as easy a bachelor way to cook as I've been able to find. That's my first video on how to cook chicken.